Hey friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Oleg and this is one and only Mr. Bond. We like watches. In today's video, we're gonna do a full review of a sports model from a Swiss watch company or SWC. We reviewed one of their watches earlier. It was a diver watch, quite impressive for the first offering. Now this is gonna be their second offering currently available on Kickstarter. This is a family run micro brand, which I quite like. Uh, one of the sons is a watchmaker. The other son is in charge of sales and marketing and father is in charge of quality control and production. The father actually worked for one of the big Swiss watch companies back in the day. So they have quite a bit of experience. These guys know what they're doing. Uh, before we do the full review, I just wanna let you know that this is a prototype version. There will be some improvements for the final production version. I'm not making excuses for them. It's just the fact this is not the final product that you will receive. There will be some improvements. And number two, uh, they said they will send me one of these watches when it's ready, if it gets fully funded on Kickstarter. And I believe it was fully funded on Kickstarter. When I receive one of these watches, maybe I'll do another unboxing on Instagram or something and share my thoughts on the final production version. And the last thing you should know that Bond rolled around in mud yesterday, that has nothing to do with the video. He was just very proud of himself. So I had to wash him, didn't I? Okay, let's get started with the review. It has a diameter of 41 millimeters, so from this point to this point, but excluding the crown, it's 47 millimeters from one leg to another, so from this point to this point. It has a leg opening of 22 millimeters and the thickness of 12.8 millimeters, including the domed sapphire crystal. Here's what the watch looks like on my seven and a half inches or just under 20 centimeters wrist on the supplied silicon strap. On this strap, the watch looks quite sporty and it is a comfortable watch to wear. Comfortable weight of 114 grams, although I do have to say that the clasp on this silicon strap is a little bit thick. So if you look on the underside of my wrist, you can see it kind of stands tall. Uh, when you type on a computer or something like that, it kind of gets in the way. The leg to leg distance is not too long, so this watch should fit smaller as well as medium sized wrists just fine. And here's what the watch looks like on an optional stainless steel bracelet. This bracelet is not included with the watch. You have an option to purchase this bracelet. And I think the addition of this bracelet completely changes the look of this watch. Where on a silicon strap, it looked quite sporty. On this uh, stainless steel bracelet, it looks very dressy. It almost appears like a dress watch, very elegant and uh, kind of surprising how much the look of this watch really changes. On a bracelet, it is also, of course, heavier, weighing 180 grams. So even though it looks very dressy, it doesn't have the weight of a dress watch. It is still hefty on your wrist and you really do feel it. Now we're gonna talk more about the bracelet by the end of this video, but I just thought I'd show you what it looks like on the wrist. 316L stainless steel case, pretty nice finish on this case. So we have alternation between brushed and polished finishes. The bezel is all polished, high polish, and it's done quite nicely. Then we have these beveled edges that break up the satin or brushed finish on the case. Nice transitions, and overall, the, uh, the finishing on this watch is done really well. For the watch in this price category, it's actually done exceptionally well. It's $389 on Kickstarter, which is a really good price, especially if you consider all the specs that you get. So first of all, it has a screw down crown at the three o'clock position. It's a sign crown with a Swiss watch company logo. The operation on the crown is okay. I wish it was slightly bigger because as it is right now, the crown is not the easiest to operate. And also it doesn't have the most gnarling there. So the crown, in my opinion, is slightly undersized, but nevertheless, it is a screw down crown helping with water resistance. It doesn't have a screw down case back. The case back is actually held in place with these screws. I'm guessing they chose to do that to reduce the thickness on the watch, but that of course sacrifices water resistance. So the watch has still 100 meters of water resistance. However, it doesn't have the screw down case back, which is a bit of a negative. It also features a domed sapphire crystal with six layers of AR coating. And I think the integration between this crystal and the case is done exceptionally well. There are no weird gaps. There's no ring that sometimes appears outside of the crystal. It just looks like one continuous seamless line. Swiss watch company continues to impress with the choice of movement, especially in this price category. This one has the Celita SW200 movement. They say it's a top shelf, top grade movement. It has 26 joules, 38 hours of power reserve, and it's a high beat movement beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Swiss watch company actually said that they will regulate this movement to five positions, 
which is pretty incredible for a watch in this price category. I don't know of any other micro brand giving you a Swiss made watch with a Swiss made movement under $500 and regulating that movement also. The specs on the watch are great. Where I think the company might lose some people is in its design. I don't even know how to describe this design. It's very futuristic, but it also has some retro elements and it's not gonna be for everyone's liking. I can tell you that much right now. Looking at the pictures of the watch, to be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but now seeing it in person, holding it and wearing it on my wrist for a little while, I can really understand and appreciate this design. I think Swiss watch company is not really doing themselves any favors with this design because it really has to be seen in person. Looking at it over video and looking at the pictures of this watch doesn't do it justice. And that's kind of a problem for a micro brand watch because they don't really sell them in stores. So really the only way for you to see one in person is to either buy one or know someone who has one. I'll do my best in this video to give you the most comprehensive review I can. So first of all, this dial, it's broken down into several elements. Number one, we have this middle part with a mosaic like texture. In pictures, it looked like a brick wall, but in person, it looks more like mosaic. And I don't really mind it. Again, in pictures, I kind of disliked that feature the most, but now seeing it in person, I quite like it, especially when you have it on the silicon strap. It appears as if the strap is going through the watch and the middle portion of the dial is the uh, strap itself. It's a cool effect. And again, you kind of have to see it in person to really appreciate what they're going for here. Now, the outer ring here is also very interesting. So that's according to Swiss watch company was the hardest portion of this watch to design because it's one solid piece of ceramic. So these indices here that you see for our marks, they're actually not applied. They're raised ceramic. On top of these raised indices, we have quite a few layers of BGW Super Luminova. Here's a loom shot for you. Now, according to Swiss watch company, the loom is gonna be slightly improved in the final production version. They're gonna apply more layers of loom, especially to the set of hands. But even as the watch stands right now, the loom is pretty good. Another quality control improvement that's gonna be done to the dial is this ring where it says Swiss made. It will be centered. As you can see right now, it's slightly off center. So that's gonna be centered. And of course it says Swiss made on the dial. Not much writing other than that, just the Swiss watch company logo. And it also says Swiss watch company. That's about it. A fairly attractive set of hands here, sword style hands with the needle style seconds hand. And we even have this running seconds track all the way on the outer edges done in this lighter shade of gray. You can't really notice it unless you look at it close up. The design of this dial is complicated and simple at the same time. At first I wasn't a fan, but now I quite like it. The swatch is available in a few different color combinations. Depending on which color combination you get, you get different color on the dial and different color of the uh, silicon strap. Let's actually talk about the silicon strap. It's done really well. First of all, it's an integrated strap. I really appreciate integrated straps. And on this design specifically, it had to be an integrated strap, otherwise it would look off. You wouldn't have this effect of a strap kind of going through the case. It, it, it would not work at all. So uh, they did a good job of integrating this strap into the case. Uh, it's not a quick release strap, so you do have to have a, a strap removal tool, which I think most of us do have already. And you also have these holes here for letting your wrist breathe which I do appreciate. Now, it's not all positives with this strap. Uh, the clasp is quite thick. As I mentioned before in the wrist shot, this clasp will stand quite tall on your wrist and that's because of the way it's designed. It's already quite thick here, plus it hides the excess rubber under uh, the stop portion so you don't need the little loop on your strap, but that also creates an effect of a thicker clasp. Uh, some people might not like it and some people might find it uncomfortable. For me, it was okay, but I do wish they would make this uh, clasp a little bit thinner. On the positives, it is an engineered scissor clasp and it's super easy to resize. You simply pop these two out and you find your perfect fit. Now, speaking of the perfect fit, I have a seven and a half inches wrist and I was wearing this strap on the last two holes. So if you have wrist bigger than that, uh, this strap will be a little bit too small for you. I actually talked 
to Swiss watch company about this issue and they said they will address it in the final production version. So they're gonna make the strap a little bit longer. What I would love for them to do is to extend this portion of the strap and not the portion with all the holes because as it is right now, when you wear the strap on the last couple of holes, the, the strap is already off balance. As you can see here, the clasp is not in the center. It's kind of off to the side. So when you wear it on your wrist, it's not as comfortable as it would be if it were right in the center. If this portion of the strap was extended slightly, that would make the strap a lot more comfortable, at least for people with bigger size wrists. The last thing I wanna talk about is the optional stainless steel bracelet and whether you should choose to buy one when you buy one of these watches. This bracelet has positives and negatives. So the positives are the finish is pretty good. It's a satin finish on the outer links and the polished finish on the middle links. The finish on the bracelet is not as good as the finish on the case, but for the most part, it's pretty good. I also really like how this bracelet makes the watch look and feel. Now this watch feels a lot dressier. It almost feels like a dress watch, so you could really dress it up or you could dress it down between the two straps, which is a big benefit, especially if you have one or two watches in your collection. Now the watch becomes a lot more versatile. It also has a feature that's missing from a lot of other bracelets, quick release pins on this bracelet. What a great idea. Although the silicon strap doesn't have quick release pins on it, so you will still need a tool to remove that a silicon strap, but uh, putting this bracelet and taking it off is much, much easier. It's very user-friendly. What isn't user-friendly are the push style pins. So this bracelet doesn't have screw in place pins, which is okay depending on the price of this bracelet. As a recording of this video, I don't know the price. Maybe it's gonna be a hundred bucks, maybe 80 bucks, maybe 90 bucks, something like that, but I don't know. Swiss watch company did mention that they will redesign this clasp, which is a good idea because this clasp is where a lot of my negatives with the bracelet and the watch lie. First of all, it's too big. You don't need such a huge clasp for this watch. Just look at that thing. Secondly, diver extension. Why would you need a diver extension on this watch? It's not a diver. This feature is totally unnecessary. There are no micro adjustments. So instead of having this diver extension, have some micro adjustments because there are also no half links. So you better hope you can size this bracelet just right for your wrist. Otherwise, you're kind of out of luck. Also, this portion of the clasp scratches the middle link. Doesn't look very good. It does have a scissor engineered clasp, which is good and it's fairly secure, released with these two pushers. It also has this weird hinge here. I haven't seen a hinge like this on many other clasps. It does make the watch a little bit more comfortable, but it also creates some weird gaps and angles. So I'm not really sure how I feel about this hinge. Uh, so yeah, maybe get rid of that completely, add some micro adjustments, get rid of that Darvis extension, you don't really need it, and reduce the overall size of this clasp. Other than that, the bracelet is pretty good, but I can't recommend it as it is right now. I will need to see what they do in terms of improvements. Overall, a very solid offering from Swiss watch company. Not a perfect watch, but a lot to like about this one. Number one, the design. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. I happen to like it. I thought I wouldn't, but I do like it. Uh, number two, value for money. It's all there. For under 400 US dollars, you're getting a Swiss made uh, on the dial. You're getting Celita SW200 movement that's regulated. You're getting the dome sapphire crystal. You're getting great finish on the case, nicely integrated silicon strap. All of that as a package is pretty good. Value for money, it's all there. Not a perfect watch. As I said, the crown is slightly too small. It needs to be a little bit larger for easier operation. The stainless steel bracelet needs improvements. The clasp definitely needs improvements, needs some work. The clasp on the uh, silicon strap needs some improvements, could be made thinner. But other than that, a pretty good solid offering. I appreciate you watching this video until the end. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review, subscribe to the YouTube channel, we release new videos every week, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the Swiss watch company sports model. Are you picking this one up? Are you letting this one go? How do you feel about the design? How would you even describe this design? Leave all those thoughts below. I always enjoy reading your comments. By the way, today on my wrist, I'm wearing a Rolex Datejust. This is my first Rolex. I did a full review of this watch, of course. That video can be found on the YouTube channel. I will also leave it linked in the description below. 
Also in the description below, there are a couple of other links. The first link is a link to botnatostraps.com. If you're looking for a great quality NATO strap and want to support this YouTube channel at the same time, buying one of these NATO straps is a great way to do so. The second link is a secret link. Have a look if you're curious. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Nice and clean now, huh? Go good bat. Good boy. Remember when you were rolling in a mug yesterday? Yeah, I remember.